Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, with the recent interest in VPNs rising, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a guide on VPNs about what they are and how they work. So in today's video, it's gonna be all about that and I'll dive through all the ins and outs of VPNs and explain what they do and where they can be useful. I'll also give you my top three VPN picks a little later on in the video in case you want some recommendations and go over what they have to offer in terms of features and budget so that you can pick the one that works best for you. And of course, if you're interested in checking Checking out these VPNs I'm going to mention and want to know more about them, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. All right, so what exactly is a VPN? Well, a VPN or virtual private network is basically a tool that helps you keep your online activities private by acting like a secret tunnel on the internet. When you use a VPN, it takes your internet data and scrambles it up, making it pretty hard for others to understand what you're doing, like your internet service provider or government. They won't be able to know what you're doing online as a result of being connected to the VPN. So to give you a better example, imagine you're sending a postcard through the mail and anyone who handles that postcard can see what's written on it. That's what it's like being online without a VPN on. Now, if you put that postcard in a locked box, only you and the person with the key can see the message. And that's exactly what a VPN does for your internet data. Only you and the receiver can clearly see your data, but everyone else in the process just sees incoherent jumbles of data. A VPN also makes it seem like you're using the internet from somewhere else. Like say you're in New York and you connect to a VPN server in New Jersey, for example, to websites, it looks like you're browsing from New Jersey, not New York. And this helps you stay private online. It can also help you see websites or watch videos that aren't available in your home country. So the best example here would be streaming services like Netflix, which have different libraries based on your location. So let's say I'm in Spain right now and I wanna watch Japanese Netflix. All I have to do here is connect to a Japanese server, go back to Netflix, click refresh, and this will basically change my entire library to that of Japan because as far as Netflix is concerned, I'm accessing the platform from Japan. That being said, most streaming Streaming services nowadays have set firewalls that stop VPN traffic from accessing the website. So you're going to need a VPN with obfuscated servers that can mask your encrypted traffic and make it look completely normal so that you can easily get past these firewalls. Just keep that in mind when looking for a VPN for streaming. And of course, the VPNs I'm going to be recommending in just a second all have obfuscated servers. So in short, a VPN is a tool that scrambles up your internet data, encrypts it and keeps it private as well. It makes it look like you're browsing the internet for from a different place. So between your device and the internet, your data passes through your internet service provider and anyone else snooping on your network can see what you're doing online essentially. And whatever you do on the internet can be linked back to your IP address. Whereas when you're using a VPN, your IP address will be completely hidden and the IP address that you'll be using is gonna be the IP address that belongs to the VPN server. So if I go to whatismyipaddress.com or whatever IP finder you wanna use, you'll notice that it'll say I'm in Japan because we connected to that earlier and not my real location. All right, so now that you know what a VPN does, it really depends on what you're looking for as far as which VPN to get. Out of all the VPNs I've tested so far, I found ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark to be the best and consistently at that. I mean, all three of these have lightning fast speeds. They have audited no logs policies, which is something I'll get to in a bit. They have plenty of obfuscated servers and all the necessary security features such as the kill switch. But of course, they vary in what they offer in terms of budget and bonus features. So let me briefly talk about each so that you can pick the VPN that works best for you. So starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best performing, easiest to use and most secure VPN on this list. It has the most verified no logs policies due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government actually seized one of their servers as part of an investigation, but they found nothing on that server. Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers and other VPNs, maybe they'll take several seconds longer, but Express does it in like a second. So personally speaking, I love how responsive that is. And that's why Express is my personal go-to, but you know, it just feels like it's part of your computer rather than a third party application. Now, as far as servers go, Express has over 3000 servers in 105 countries. So that's an amazing amount of locations to access global content. Besides that, that Express is the overall best choice, I think, if you're looking for an easy to use like plug and play VPN because it stays away from the more advanced settings that don't interest most beginner and intermediate users. Like you just open the app, connect to a server and that's it. 
Now, this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features like specialty servers and mesh net, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch and plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses instead of specialty servers. It also has split tunneling and top line protocols. And very recently, actually, ExpressVPN launched their Identity Defender, which tracks your ID and social security number for fraud. And then they help guide you through the next steps if there are any. And they also help in case of identity theft and have a data removal service where they can wipe out your information from any people search websites or data broker databases. Keep in mind though that this feature has just been rolled out for US users, but they do plan on expanding it to more countries and users. So overall, Express is a high performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use. And I would especially recommend it if you're a privacy conscious individual. All right, so next up we have NordVPN, which is gonna be the fastest, most valuable VPN on this list. When it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest out of the three VPNs thanks to its Nordlings protocol, which makes it a very good option for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. And it also has the largest list of countries out of all the three VPNs with 111 different countries and over 6,700 servers. So that'll give you access to a lot of content. Besides that, you'll also get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch on top of the conventional kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, and a bunch of specialty servers like Onion Over VPN, Double VPN, and peer-to-peer -peer servers. And similar to Express, Nord has also launched their identity protection feature very recently, and it functions basically the same as ExpressVPN, but you also get cyber extortion protection as well as expert advice for these sorts of situations. So it's a little bit more fleshed out than ExpressVPN. So if you're looking for the fastest best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with most VPNs, then go with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget option out of the three. The thing is, despite being less expensive, Surfshark doesn't sacrifice security or say performance to cut costs. And it even has a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers and web protection and an ad blocker. Now, maybe it's not as fast as Norden Express, but it is still really fast and outperforms most to VPNs on the market. But Surfshark's perk is that it'll allow you to add an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit and Express VPN's eight device limit. So it's basically the best option if you're looking for like a fast low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or any important features. And ultimately you can share it with all of your friends and family as well under one account. So that's all for today's video. I hope you got something useful out of that. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to check the links in the description to grab yourself those discounts and check out those full reviews if you want to know more about these VPNs. But other than that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.